if you want to see our culture and get to know our people, this is one of the places to come to, is to uh, Flores Island and walk the Wild Side Trail. It's probably the most beautiful place I've ever been to in my life. My favorite part of the trail was definitely uh, Cow Bay. It was beautiful, like Long Beach, but way better. Heaven on Earth. It's so beautiful, these gorgeous white sand beaches that just stretch on forever with nobody else out there. It is located in Clockwood Sound on Flores Island and it's an isolated community. It's uh, fly-in or boat access only. The trail goes from the community all the way out to Cow Bay which is on the outside facing the west coast and basically next landfall is Japan. You see the wolves when they're walking out there, the bears when you're walking on the way out. and You just hear the roll of the waves and the birds flying around, the eagles singing their songs and the whales making their bow holes and hear the seals barking away at night on the, on the rocks. And it's a really beautiful place. I like Cow Bay. So if I were to choose one, that would be the place I'd go to. It's uh, 11 kilometers with a loop trail up Mount Flores, so 22 kilometers in total. It's generally like a good two to three day hike, depending on how much you've got in your pack and your fitness level. We got markers all the way. We got uh, bright orange markers, and we get a lot of hikers that come in. And. Uh, it still maintains a lot of our culture into it. We're very cultural oriented people. We keep, we're keeping our culture alive. It's who we are. Culture makes us who we are. The trail here was used by my ancestors for gathering medicine. The wild site has been used for quite a few number of years by our ancestors, culturally for gathering of foods. There's lots of nice tidal pools with uh, anemones and mussels. A lot of huckleberries. <laughs> it's a free food, that's probably the best part of the trail. Every person who walks in this trail pays $20, so that's a great source of income for the uh, housing. Paul Beach there, we call it Kichnit in our language. And it has to do with, uh, before it had a lot of uh, seaweed on the, on the beach. There is another one, uh, Quadsweez. And then there is another one way farther out, uh, it's called. It has to do with like the red rocks out there. There's a story uh, pertaining to a young girl that her long red hair and it just flowed along the, the rocks or something and all the reds become a rock like that. And there's some names that you can't really say at all, eh? so, and until we like consult with elders and whatnot. So. We saw some amazing, massive red, western red cedars, uh, beautiful Sitka spruce, and beautiful beaches as well. In our culture, we use the cedar for a lot of things, like the antregalia, the cedar trees for making homes. The, the older trees are good for our uh, cedar dugout canoes that our ancestors used for traveling. A CMT is a culturally modified old growth tree that was tested long ago by our ancestors. They tested by 
like burning a hole in the middle of the tree, just getting it and then testing it to see if it's solid enough for them to fall and to be utilized for the canoe or house post. And that's what a CMT is. This is a real cultural place of ours where our people went to pray and where they brought the whales ashore and that they hunted and brought it there. And it has a lot of history in it. And that's why I like sitting there and Nighttime, it seems like you can hear the elders and what's happening, what's going on there. This is the best place in the world to come to, to visit and to be, to feel welcome by our people and, and to see our culture firsthand and see our nature, what's in our, in our backyard, in our yards firsthand. This is the place to see it, it's here in the house.